In a nation where tens of millions of children are malnourished, there are those who say this is criminal. Not so much the ostentatious feasts in and of themselves that the wealthy in India stage for weddings and other celebrations, but it's what's left over afterward. India's food minister says about a fifth of the food served at weddings and social gatherings is discarded. K.V. Thomas told the Associated Press the waste in Mumbai alone every day would be enough to feed the city's massive slum population. He's angry about it. I don't mind people taking as much food as they want, but they should not waste the food. And we see in hotels, even the airlines, I find huge food is wasted. Why should you waste the food? Those who work directly with the poor were echoing his sentiments. Sister Frances dishes out basic sustenance to those lining up at Mother Teresa's Roses Welfare Center, a charity founded by a follower of the late missionary. It's a sin when we waste the food. Even so many people are very hungry in the society in the city of Mumbai. So must think that it must go to the poor. When the poor people eat the food, so that we can see the smile. When stomach is full, we can see the smile uh, on the face of a poor person. A committee set up by the minister has toyed with the idea of restricting the number of guests and dishes at weddings. But critics said that would just end up lining the pockets of corrupt inspectors with more bribes. Thomas has settled instead on a public relations campaign, promoting the idea that less is more at weddings. He warns, though, if that doesn't have an impact, he'll revisit the guest limit proposal. So far, for a variety of reasons, efforts to redistribute the leftovers to the poor have not been successful. But the government has prepared a draft law that would make access to food a basic right of every citizen in India. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.